and welcome back to Unturned Single Player Survival with Outfoxed. I am Outfoxed, and I am the worst video gamer in the world. This is uh, our little uh, hobble. <laughs> um, I haven't done really very much to it. I did add a, uh, a second foundation to park the Humvee on because I was tired of vehicles rolling off down the hill. It didn't work very well. And I can't attach a ramp or anything to this, so we have to do a little four by in to get out. But it, it hasn't been too bad so far. <laughs> um, a bit of a confession. Did, did a sniper shot in, I think, last episode, and I was very self-impressed with it. From beyond uh, draw distance, um, you know, as it turns out, um, not not too long ago, my, my files were corrupted, and I ended up having to, ended up having, having to restart the game, uh, restart the map, and evidently when you do that, it completely resets your set settings. When, it, when I did it, it reset my draw distance to the default instead of 150%. My draw distance was actually well under the effective range of the rifle. It did effectively show that you don't have to see your op opponent to, uh, to shoot them, but... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of bummed out that, that it turns out that my draw distance was down that low. So we'll, we'll be playing. Uh, I found it. Found a timber wolf, and uh, we're gonna play with that a little bit. And this is Kensington Campground. Not a whole lot to see here. Hi there. Coyote pack. I've, I've gotten to the point where I'm uh, kind of overwhelming the, the game. At this point, there's only one map, well, two, uh, uh, Prince Edward Isle, and, uh, I don't remember that, boat launch, and, uh, the arena, uh, the arena, just, uh, an open wilderness map with no, no, uh, towns or anything. I didn't know this was here. Ah, oh, cool. Hey, little guy. And I'm getting comfortable enough with the game that it's getting kind of slow, so I'm, I'm looking... I'm artificially finding challenges for myself. Um, no tab. So yeah, I've uh, got a smaller backpack on, removed all, all my armor. Now, while and I am playing single player, um, Military armor says specifically that it stops, uh, that, uh, it's bullet resistant. The police armor says specifically that it's designed to, to help inhibit, I think is the appropriate word. It's help, it's there to inhibit, um, oh, good lord. It's there to inhibit blows, which I, I read as, uh, uh, melee damage. It, it helps mitigate melee damage. I, I haven't experimented with this at all, so it, it's all conjecture at this point. It's four. Oh, it's empty. That's why. Get some water. I ran away from the, the dock a little bit early. Uh, 
And also the, the helmet. Now there there's no evidence or written proof that uh, the helmet is anything but graphical. And uh, you know Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a, there, there's no evidence that it's anything but graphical. However, I've, I've stopped using it, using them, in case there is a, uh, some form of, uh, damage mitigation that, that occurs. Oh, I am almost out of fuel. I have a fuel tank. So uh, we'll stop in the next town, Montague, we'll, we'll run into Montague. Is there a gas can tank in Montague? I don't know. Ah. Yeah, part of my, part of my reasoning is the, uh, for, for my helmet theory is the, uh, military uh, zombies are, are harder to kill, and, you know, it may just be the code. They're, they're military zombie, zombies, therefore they have more hit points, more armor, whatever. Um, however, the, the graphics show them wearing helmets. It's, uh, it follows that the, they may, uh, have some form of, of damage resistance. And yeah, see, there, there's no gas can in this town gas tank, I guess. Uh, we'll do a run-through of uh, Summerside Peninsula. And then I, I guess back, back to Witchfire Farm. We can do the uh, farm has a gas tank in it. Um, otherwise we have to do a full run of uh, uh, Charlotte Town. That's kind of boring at this point, really. Oh, what? Wait. No, oh, duck on it. Did I put? I put gas in it, didn't I? No, I didn't. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, and we have the crossbow on us. With a six times skill up on it, so I guess we're going to play with that a little bit. Oh, reload. Pink. Yeah, one of the, the downsides to, to this game. Not really a downside, it's just a... I guess a, a bit of a disappointment to, to me. The uh, uh, bow, uh, the bow, the compound bow, and the crossbow all share the uh, physics with the rifles. There's no um, no bullet drop, no windage, anything like that. Uh, where where you put your bullet is where it's where it's going to go, or where you put your crosshair is where the bullet is going to go. And you know, all in all, it's really kind of a small thing. It's just. Kind of a weak point to the game, I guess. Oh, I wasn't going to do that. Now I have one round. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so this is uh, Summerside Peninsula a Golf Course. There's some, some camping uh, cottages over over yon that we, that we went through. Maybe be on this thing's effective range. That's the uh, downside to the crossbow is it's actually a relatively short range weapon compared to to the rifles. weapon just not not what I'm looking for you know, with the, the limit space limitations uh, that are in this game I'm not happy with it Ooh, ow uh, get rid of it <laughs> very very small inventories especially if you if you're into crafting have 10 spaces in which to, to place 100 pieces of, of you know resources for your for your latest crafting think of the word that, hmm. 
Yeah, so you you need to build you you have an idea for for something to make, and it's going to take 115 items to, to craft it, and you have you know 15 inventory slots. So you, know, you end up having to make multi multiple trips. Gen generally, things you know will stack you know, like boards. You can uh, stack boards up to I think 20. Five in your inventory, you can stack them infinitely in a, in a chest, but in your inventory it's, it's very small. Not what I was trying to say. The sun is going down, we're going to book it back to, to uh, Wiltshire Farm fueled the Humvee up. Summerside Peninsula. Not a whole lot to see there. Um, and I'm trying to remember if it's military or militia uh, drops that will actually drop in, or uh, loot will, will actually spawn in the lighthouse. So there, there, there's an actual reason to go here. It, it's just not very big, and not a very big chance, and you only get one or two drops. Yeah, yeah. The, as opposed to the military base or the or the airport, or even Montague. Montague has, I think, three military drops plus the boarded up house. So there's, I, I believe, four spaces for they they will drop military items. The right, sun's going down fast. We're down to six percent fuel. We may not make it to, to the farm near Charlottetown. So, yeah, yeah. We'll make it, and they'll just be on fumes when we get there. There's, uh, Fernwood. There's a guy in the middle of the road. These have, have a huge fuel tank. They, uh, oh, is it full? Yeah, it's full. All right. So they, they go quite quite a ways without uh, needing to fill up. And the is going down. We'll do. Mass. The sun's going down, so we'll call her an episode here. Uh, next episode, uh, I'll take you on a, a tour of the of the sub islands, and we'll, we'll uh, break out the Timberwolf and, and uh, do some some more sniper games. So that's our episode. Thank you for watching, and have a good night. If you were entertained or educated at all, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below. If you want to follow my series, feel free to subscribe. Out Foxed, a glorious tribute to doing things the hard way. <laughs>